Sometimes as a fan of HBCU sports you re- or college sports in general, you really don't know what to do with certain news. And this news just kind of came across. Maurice Washington, the superstar running back of Grambling State University, has declared for the NFL draft. Now, the question is, well, let's start off with the question is not. The question is not, is he talented enough? He's definitely talented enough. He's put that talent on display throughout the course of the entire season. Every time he has a chance to touch the ball, and you can see it right here in that game against Jackson State, Whenever he touches the ball, this young man is a playmaker. Over the course of the season, 61 attempts, 589 yards, 7 touchdowns, 9.7 yards per carry. That's crazy. And if you look at him play, you can see every bit of the promise that people saw when he was headed into college as a star athlete. This dude was legit. I'm talking about coming from California Going to Nebraska and putting on, and yes, he had some legal issues, some trouble at Nebraska, but once he got to Grambling State, he showed the world what type of talent he had. Actually, over the course of the season, a lot of Grambling fans were like, yo, why don't you use him more? That was the biggest question. It was never a question of, um, is he talented enough? Is he good enough? Bruh, every time this dude gets in the game, touches the ball, everybody's like, yo, who's that? And why isn't he touching the ball more often? Well, um, Coach Hugh Jackson even talked about it at times over the course of the season, basically saying, well, you know what? Maurice um, is coming into uh, getting his body back into shape. He's getting his body back into playing shape, and he's not quite ready to be the bell cow. Well, that's the big question, right? Because if he wasn't quite ready to be the bell cow at the collegiate level, especially playing for Gremlin last year when they needed a bell cow more than anybody, right? Then will he be ready at the next level to be that dude? Man, this dude, okay, for some some people, he's like almost a low-budget Adrian Peterson. And look, you can say what you want. This boy is cold-blooded. In the game against UAPB, 201 yards rushing on 10 carries. That's 20.1 yards a carry. Two touchdowns. Look, um, in his game against Alcorn, right? Nine carries, 67 yards and a touchdown. Look, in Northwestern State, when that in that game, that's when everybody got a chance to really see who he was. Five carries, 95 yards, and two touchdowns. He's not only done it at the FCS level, because some people may say that, oh, well, he can do that at the FCS level. Well, behind you, what you're seeing, or behind this graphic is, is him doing it at the FBS level when he was a running back at Nebraska. He's real. The kid's legit. But I look at numbers like this. 10 carries, 10 carries, 9 carries. Over the course of the season, you could see he would be in games and be effective, but then go out of games and be missing for a minute. So I'm like, is he ready? Now, other NFL teams who could use a Maurice Washington, of course. And I don't see him going high in the draft. Let's just be honest about that because of these, not because of his skill set, right? But because of these injury issues. So I don't know, you know, if he's going to be there, but there are teams that need a guy like him. The Buffalo Bills need a guy like him. Um, they can't figure it out for the life of them. Singletary is good at times, but he's not quite, you know, as dynamic of a running back. And James Cook hasn't shown himself to be that guy either. Alvin Kamara needs a running mate. He's going to need somebody. Mark Ingram um, is just getting old, right? The Carolina Panthers will need somebody to replace McCaffrey. L.A. needs a good running back. Who knows what will happen with Cam Akers? I'm pretty sure he's gone at the end of this year. And the Seahawks will need somebody. So... Listen, teams will need a running back like Maurice Washington. The biggest question is, is Maurice Washington ready to be a real, legit NFL running back? Is he talented? Of course he's talented. It's not even a question of is he talented or not. I don't notice this, but he threw a two-point conversion in this game. Everybody, it was really stunning to me that people didn't notice. I didn't the see that. I was like on the here was the style. We hiked the ball between the legs of the quarterback directly to Maurice Washington. Whoa. He moved to the right and threw the ball to Josh Quiet for a two point play. Come on here. <laughs> yes we Come did. Back. I don't know they what you do all. <laughs> the biggest question comes down to is he ready to be that dude at the next level. So is this a good move for him leaving um, Gremlin this early? I honestly don't think so. I'll be honest with you. I don't think this is a great idea. 
And I wouldn't recommend it. If it's just me, you asking me, should he leave? No, not yet. Because you need to prove that you could be that dude. And he, he, this year was going to be his year. He could prove he's that guy, right? But for him, I understand the risk, right? But listen, if I'm an NFL team, do I take that shot? Do I take that chance? Yeah, I take it without even thinking twice about it. Because this kid is legit. He's a legit weapon, right? So that kind of, man, makes me question. Did he kind of have a, did, did, did Coach Hugh Jackson know, right, that he was thinking about the clan for the draft so he used him sparingly so he wouldn't get hurt? I don't know. But what we do know is that Maurice Washington is headed to the league. And if you get him in either the sixth, seventh round or undrafted rookie free agent, then you are going to get a gem. Do I think it's the best move for him right now? No, I think he should go back, right? But do I think that he's going to be successful at the next level? Without question. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And I can't wait to talk to you more. There's so much happening right now in HBCU sports, right? There's so much happening in the world of sports. Follow MTMV Sports for your news and your commentary. All right, I love you. God bless you. We out. It's not just about the love of the game. It's about dedication and commitment through the process and the patience to endure. There's joy in reaching your goals and peace in knowing you've done all you're supposed to do. Ozell Brand. It's not just a brand, it's a lifestyle.